in terms of lessons learned, what we found is that because we started with high school, we had teachers that had very strong history backgrounds. Their college degrees were in history programs, uh, maybe social studies, but still they had a lot of history classes. As we've gone down to our elementary, we have teachers with elementary ed degrees, and many universities don't require any history classes as part of an elementary ed degree. And so while they're you know, super interested and excited and ready to work, they just don't have that uh, university background in history. So we back up a little and give them some practice in uh, historical thinking, which really works with the mystery object, because all those questions are the historical thinking process. And so we've learned to kind of take the teachers where they're at and customize our interactions with them to the level they're at. Uh, so I think that really has helped us in terms of being gr very grade specific. A lot of grants are, are multi-grade, but because we've focused down on a single grade at a time, we've been able to really customize the information we're giving them to the level that they might have already had uh, instruction in. And elementary and middle school teachers like to have stuff. Yeah. They, they always use things they, you know, every teacher I know has used their own money to buy things to bring into their classroom. High school teachers too, but with the high school teachers we have more of an opportunity to use documents. Mm -hmm. uh, and sometimes it's easier to use documents, it's certainly less expensive to make facsimiles of documents than it is to go out and find um, objects. But uh, we also assume that the high school teachers will be able to make a, a different use of objects than elementary and middle school teachers do, um, including sending their students out into the field on their own. I mean, students, if they're not doing a field trip per se, sometimes they can do internships, they do um, special uh, projects, classroom projects. I've worked with high school students doing history projects before and I know that uh, they are capable of some very high level thinking involving primary sources. So um, we've been experimenting with this over the years. Everybody loves objects, everybody. We take the high school teachers get to go behind the scenes at the museum and see what we do with collections and begin to understand how important material culture is to understanding history. So again, it's one of those things that they might not be able to have in their classroom, but it gives the teachers a, a, a greater depth of knowledge uh, of the history that they're teaching when they get to see it in three dimensions.